of the ways that you can find resources to use in your class is to search for not just videos on YouTube that you can use, but also to find some channels of people that are posting things that are very relevant to what you are doing. So I did a search for Pythagorean Theorem. You can see there's a ton of videos that people put on here that I could find, and that's awesome. If you're looking for something on a topic, that's great. Um, one of the things I really like to do is use these filters. Um, the update date is really nice like if you're looking some, for something really current or a current event it's great to filter by this the one thing I like to use for class to try to find things is search for a channel so I'll click on channel and instead of individual videos uh, which are great it's gonna give me all of these different channels about people who have been posting things about the Pythagorean theorem so one of them that I found on here that I thought was really neat was a math department who not only has information about um, the Pythagorean Theorem, but all kinds of other different um, pre-algebra and geometry, um, different subject areas. So there's probably, if I was teaching one of those classes, there's more than one video that I could find and use with my kids. Uh, if you find something that you like, click on subscribe. That way every time you go to YouTube, you'll see their new videos and you'll be able to find new resources. So uh, if you're teaching something, you want to use video, I encourage you not to you don't necessarily have to make everything yourself. Uh, go find stuff out there, other teachers who are using it and creating it and making quality resources. Uh, search for a channel and see what you can find.